One of the main questions I get, whether I'm talking to somebody online or meeting them in person at one of our local meetups is, how do you find the funding? Funding seems to scare people and I get it, but it's not as complicated as you think. In this video, I'm gonna show you the three bucket theory, a simple way to figure out how to fund your deals, whether you're fixing and flipping or doing rental properties. It's pretty simple, I'll show you, let's go. When I got started, I was the same way. I was thinking, how do people fund these deals? How does he own 50 rental properties? You have to put 20% down on every house. Where does he come up with that 20%? Then I started to learn about other people's money and how you don't have to use your own money to invest in real estate. Do you have to put 20% down? Where can you find a hard money lender? Where is a private money lender and who is a private money lender? Can I go to a bank for the initial funding? Can I go to a bank for the long-term funding? Where do I go to get the money to can make it as simple as possible for me so I can buy more houses and start to make money? So that's really what we're gonna break down with these three bucket theories. I'm gonna explain the simple concept here and then we're gonna to head to the whiteboard and I'll, I'll try to break it down and simplify it as easy as I can so you can have a solid understanding of where to find the funding so that can be checked off the list so you can go out and actually get some deals. Before I talk about what's in these three buckets, make sure to hit that like button right near that bucket. I'm not gonna tell you what's in that bucket, but right by that bucket, go hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you're following our stuff and interacting. I'd love to interact with you on the comment section. Make sure to stay tuned to Maisie's joke of the day at the end. This one's a funny one, not that they're all not funny. And then also we are doing a monthly giveaway this year. If this is your first video you're seeing of me this year, each month we are going to pick one of the people in our comment section for all our videos that month. We do two or three videos a week. So comment in the videos when this video comes out, whatever month this video comes out in, because we shoot ahead of time a little bit, we're going to pick one of those comments and we will do an hour long free Zoom session. We did it last year a couple times and it was awesome. So I'm gonna pick one of those people that comments on the videos and do an hour long one-on-one -on -one Zoom session with just me and them to help them either kickstart their business or try to improve what they're doing. The more comments, the higher chances. So this is part one of a two part series on how to find and understand other people's money as it pertains to real estate investing. So this video, I'm gonna explain the three bucket theories and talk about the types of funding that you can get to invest in real estate to not use any of your own money. And then in part two, so be looking out for that, I'm gonna talk about where to find these buckets and where to find the people that are inside the buckets because they're, they're in there somewhere. No. I'm gonna show you where to find other people's money. Before I head over to the whiteboard, I'm gonna explain what the three buckets are. The three buckets are your initial purchase funding, the money that it takes to actually purchase the house that you're looking to buy. It's not gonna be your own money where you can get other people's money to purchase the house. The second bucket here is your repair or renovation bucket. This is where other people's money comes into play where you actually fix up and repair the property. And then this third bucket only applies for rental properties, but this is where you get your long-term financing, where you take out long-term mortgages and who those places are and who those people are that you can go to to do that long-term funding to hold a rental property over a long period of time. So we got purchase, repairs, long-term funding, buckets. Now let's dig into the buckets on the whiteboard. All right, so this is the three bucket theory, a faster freedom original. Here are my buckets. Yes, they are squares with the tops erased, but that's okay, they're buckets. So this first bucket is the purchase bucket. This is other people's money that you're gonna use to purchase a property. Purchase a property at a discount with other people's money, okay? The first one that I'm gonna use and my favorite is private lenders. Again, in part two, I'm gonna talk about where to find each person or business in these buckets. So stay tuned for that, be on the lookout. But private lenders, private lenders are people, not companies usually, that are willing to lend money to you on a short-term basis to buy and fix up, potentially, spoiler head, at least purchase a property. Because banks, banks aren't in this bucket, at least for 99.9% .9 of real estate investors, banks aren't in this bucket. Banks simply do not want to have the risk of lending you money on a property that needs work to be lived in. Because a property can't make any money unless it's live-in ready. Because you can either make money renting it or selling it. A bank doesn't want to lend you money on something that can't produce money yet. They will lend you on a rental property or a house you're living in, but not on something that's not livable. So a lot of the houses you buy are potentially not livable, so banks will not even be a part of this bucket. Sorry to bust your bubble. 
So private lenders are people. They're usually not who you think. They're usually not like a rich uncle or something like most people think they are. Sometimes they can be family, sometimes they can't be, but just know that they are people that are willing to invest in real estate and invest in you for a safe return. We'll get into who and how to find them in the next video. So hard money lenders are the second type of place you can go to get funding for your initial purchase. These are companies that are in business to lend money. These aren't the mafia, that's not like that. These are companies that are in business to lend you money to purchase distressed properties. That's the whole reason, that's the whole purpose of them being around. They're really easy to find. That one's gonna be a quick one. We'll talk about that one in the next video. The first one is, and my favorite, I'm doing an order my favorite, is private lenders again. Lots of times, private lenders will loan you the money to purchase the property and the money to fix it up because they feel like it's a safe investment. And the more money they have out with you, as long as you're buying at enough of a discount, the more return they're gonna get. If they loan you $50,000 and they get a 10% return, they get good money. But if they loan you $100,000 at a 10% return, they make more money the more they loan you, as long as it's a good investment. The second one, HML, just throwing out some lingo for you, hard money lenders. A lot of hard money lenders will loan you purchase plus rehab so you can get the full purchase plus rehab from a lot of hard money lenders. The third is, does that look like LOC? That's what that is, lines of credit. So that can be a credit card or maybe a home equity line of credit, a HELOC, if you have a line of credit on your personal house or another type of investment or just simply credit cards. I know a lot of people that like to, or that I don't know if they like to or not, but they fund a lot of the initial rehabs from credit cards to get a zero percent for 12 months or a zero percent for 24 month credit card where they basically have free funding for a while and by the time the deal closes on a flip or gets refinanced on a rental they can pay it back and be done and, and not have to pay any interest these two will be necessary for flips and rentals but if you're flipping it at this point you sell it and once you sell it you get a profit hopefully much more than you have in the property and then you pay back the people after you sell the property on sale of the property. However, if you are doing a rental property, if you're doing a rental deal with the BRRRRS method, you will need that long-term funding. That's when you do a cash out refinance here. That's when you get your money back to pay back your initial lender. We're not gonna go into that in this video. I have several videos on the BRRRRS method. Check out this one up here where I talk about the BRRRRS method. I'm actually right here on this board talking about it. So check out that video, but we're just talking about what types of funding in this video. So the first ones is it's crazy how you almost forget to write when you're writing on camera, it's weird. Anyways, so small banks, these are your small local portfolio lending banks. This is not your Bank of America, these are not your commerce banks, they only do mortgages on properties that are primary residents for the most part. This is an investment property. These small local banks need to do deals like this to stay in business. They are not Bank of America, they don't have billions and billions of dollars in depository accounts that they make money on. They don't even sell the mortgages off to the secondary market to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. They keep these notes in-house and make money on the interest that is taken on the actual loan. So these are small banks that love to do loans like this. They have to do loans like this to stay in business. The second is credit unions. These are, well, they're credit unions. They like to lend on deals like this. Not all credit unions like to lend on deals like this. Not all small banks like to lend on deals like this. However, a lot of these in local towns do like to lend on loans like this. They do like to do investment type, long-term rental property deals. So going to these, you might have to talk to a few of them. Again, in the other video we're gonna talk about, just dropped it. We're gonna talk about where to find them, but just know that if you're in a decent sized town, there are banks and they're all credit unions that love to do loans like this. So this is the three bucket theory. If you can learn where to find and understand the initial purchase bucket, who those people are, the repair bucket, who those people are, where you can find that. And then the long-term funding bucket, if you get a grasp on these, what is that? I mean, it's, it's four or five different types of people or types of businesses. You should never have an issue funding a deal because everything behind me, there is several of them in every market. So you'll have your choice of who you want to go with and who you want to build a relationship. Just know that this is a simple way to break down funding of investment properties. All right, thanks for watching. We got Maisie's joke of the day now, ready? I invented a new word today. It's called plagiarism. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. See you on the next one. Hit this like.